<laughs> Welcome to Transcendent by Ozzy. Thank you for coming in the stream. Transcendent by Ozzy is intended for viewers over the age of 18. If you're under the age of 18, then get the f out. This stream deals with medical marijuana and all things stoner culture. Please follow my Linktree link to find more content from the Transcendent Studio family of channels. You can catch us on Twitch twice a day, every weekday for a live stream with gaming, art, chatting, smoking, and chilling. Look for our edited content including unboxings, strain reviews, movies on high, and oh, so much more on YouTube. Please stand by while the stream begins. And remember, all that we ask is respect for everyone in the chat, as well as those on our stream. Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and peoples of all genders, it's Ozzy back once more, and again. How goes it, everyone? Hello, hello, hello. How are you all tonight, tonight, tonight? It is a, 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 a Thursday? Thursday? A day that is Thursday? Yes. Uh, yes. Today is Thor's day. Today is the day of Thor. It is Thor's day. Holy shocking fit. Yesterday was Woden's Day, though. We were here for Woden's Day. We we watched a movie on Woden's Day. Mm -hmm. that, that's Odin for those not in the know. You know. Woden's Day. Or Wednesday, as it's more colloquially known. And then after Thor's Day, we have Freya Day. Can you believe it? Three in a row. Then Saturn Day. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because you, you do realize, like, a lot of the weekday names are named after gods and, and, and demigods and shit like that, right? Yep. That's where they got their fucking name, fucker! Hi! Where are we? When are we? Who are we? Where are we? Oh, yeah. We're here. We're live. We're here. We're here. We're live. We're live! Oh, my God! We're live! Holy shit. Almost at the end of September. I think I need the weed to calm my nerves. Like I'm mistaken. <laughs> that reminded me of something, but I don't know what. I don't know. That I don't know what it reminds me of, but something, something in the back of my brain. I don't know. Something you'll do later. It'll come back to you later. It'll come back to me later. So, um, where, where, where were we? What did we, we, we did I go over, I went over everything that we did at the thing, We right? were going to we, do your intro first. My intro? Why, wait, am I here? Uh, am I we'll find out. Hold on. So I thought to myself and myself thought back to me and I knew it was me because I, I could hear me talking and I know my voice because, uh, it, it, it's a voice that I'd heard before. That means I'm here, but oh, there you are! You're here too. Wait, I'm locking your pay. <laughs> you are not getting paid for this stream. Fine by me. I haven't gotten paid yet, so. <laughs> Fuck, stymied again. <laughs> Why did you guys start laughing so hard? <laughs> well, fuck. I guess that was the issue. We weren't here yet. That's why. That's why we weren't live. Live. We had to do the intros first. Yeah. What do we got? Right. Ain't no right. Thursday. Thirsty Thursday. Thirsty Thursday. I'm, I'm a little thirsty. I'm a little thirst and I'm a little day. I finished the Louvre. Cool. Oh I've God. never been. That took me like 10 months to finish it. Sweet. So um, I guess what we'll do is, let's see, we had talked about Saturday, right? 
where we have gone and then the Sunday we talked about going to spirit and spending for yeah, we'll get there. Anyways, um so what did we do Monday? Monday was Monday, 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 Monday. Monday wasn't nothing. We didn't really do nothing. Tuesday we went to the the thing. And the, you the big we talked about. Well, yeah, we said there was a graveler. We went probably because one stream. For some reason, always the beginning one of the stream is always one that's like all by itself. So uh, we went to Big E, and we pretty much was were like you know, it has this, it has stuff that you would be that would be kind of like you know like 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 I can picture something like this. Have you ever there. put butter on a pop tart? It's, it's so, so freaking good. If Have you ever put, put butter on a pop tart? If you haven't, then I think you should. I can picture that kind of stuff being there, you know, uh, like deep fried pop tart too. Don't forget, they, they, oh yeah, they got like deep fried Oreos, deep fried Snickers. If it can be deep fried, they deep fry it, and 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 they sell. It, it's a it's a fair. It's a fair. It is a fair. F a i r fair. Like like when you think of fair foods, that's the kind. When when you watch like those shows that talk about fair foods and shit like this is that kind of fair. This isn't like, I mean, you have the rinky dink little, you know, local fairs that come up and they're great. They are. I, I, I don't, I know I say rinky dink and it sounds derogatory, but it's not in comparison to that. But it's definitely not a derogatory thing. Cause I love those little fairs too. They're really nice to go to and just like chill. And, and check out and walk around, but this fair that I'm talking about, no, no, we're we're talking like it's the size of the neighborhood, and it's not even just because it's it's, it's for Massachusetts; it's for all of New England, which is why it's so big to begin with. It's the Great New England. Do you remember? Do you guys? Well, you most of you probably don't, but. Back in the day, there used to be a thing that they did, the World's Fair. And it would be in a specific area, you know, like like Seattle had it one year, which is what the Space Needle actually is, is for the Seattle World's Fair. They built the Space Needle. There's been all these things where something was built in an area specifically for this World's Fair that used to happen. They'd have them every five or ten years or some shit like that. And, and nowadays, we don't do stuff like that. But this fair has been going for years Years and years and years and years, like hundred years or some shit like that. Yeah, just about. This fair has been going. <clears throat> this fair has been around about as long as fucking um, as Disney or some shit like that. It, it, this is a long time running. This isn't some oh okay, you know, let's throw together a fair. This is like in the fair grounds themselves have been set aside and dedicated for years. It's probably about. Probably about two and a half, I'd say about two and a half miles long from end to end. And probably about, probably about a half mile wide. Yeah, something like that, yeah. So, yeah, so it ain't, it ain't small. The midway itself, just the midway, is probably the size of like like two Home Depots. Probably about that, yeah. Like two Home, two, and I'm not talking like the little Home Depot. I'm talking the big motherfucking Home Depot. I, like, like maybe even a, a, a superstore, like a, a Walmart superstore kind of size. Mm-hmm. You know, two of them put together side to side. We ain't talking small here. And that's just the midway, which is where we went with the kids. And they wanted to do, they fucking did this one. We used to call it the Fireball, but it's got a new name now, and I, I forget what the fucking name was, but it goes back and forth until it goes around, and then it keeps going around, and then it gets caught, and it goes back and forth, and then it goes backwards around a couple times. And it's like, it starts off about, you know, 15 feet up or so, because it's got to be set up, and then it goes up to 150 feet, and, you know, all in between. It's the, the, the kids liked it, you know, not something I would have gone on, even if it had been that I could. Then there's the one where you sit in it and it spins around like this, but you're sitting facing this way. 
-hmm. and then the thing spins. They did that one. They did a bunch of like the um, fun house type things and, and those kind of like haunted house type ones where you just run inside and you do that. They did the Gravitron. Um, there was two. They have two different kinds of Gravitron there. They were on both when they went on the, went on the Matterhorn. Mm -hmm. um, they did the the Death Drop, cool. which again, 150 feet up, and then it just drops you right down to about 20 feet before, and then it like psh, puts on the brakes, yep. and you're just like, Whoa! and they went. Uh, they wanted to go on the uh, Observation one. The observation, which is the new Ferris wheel. And it's fucking big. I'm talking really fucking big. Mm -hmm. Like, we went on it, and it was fun. It's all enclosed. You sit in, like, a capsule. It's almost like going on to the Big Eye over in uh, London. I don't think it's as big as that, but it's set up kind of like that where you're inside. Mm -hmm. So, no elements to get at you, none of that. Really nice little ride and they wanted to go on that but the wait was long and they didn't have fast pass for it so they mm -hmm. gave up but we did food you know the the um we did an you elephant eat. oh yeah you got to and you know the kids wanted uh chicken tenders so we brought them to like the agawam lions because mm -hmm. it first of all it was cheap Secondly, since they only wanted like chicken fingers, we weren't going to bring them to one of the expensive places. Yeah, because they would just they wouldn't have wanted they didn't want fancy. They wanted simple fries, and the, so we're like, we'll save the money and get them that, and then get them better dessert stuff. Dessert is always a good thing at that. And on the in the midway area, there's always stuff to to find nearby. Because you're never far from some of the buildings, too. Oh, for sure. Yeah, and, and we walked all over the place. Um, we had like 13,000 steps that day there. So we, and that was just in the midway, and, and it was fucking crazy. <coughs> and then when we were leaving, I, I had overdone it. And I started getting my leg dragging and all that shit. Started having a problem. I wasn't going to make it. So when you leave the fairgrounds, wherever you leave, if you got to cross the street, there's a cop at every intersection. Well, and where we they didn't always have it. Oh, they do now. They make sure they got it now. Um, and we we were leaving. We're going out, and they the cop sees. Lauren supporting me, me like dragging one leg and then the kids like all huddled around me and she's like, it's okay. It's a medical emergency. I'm just going to go get the car. He's going to mm -hmm. sit over there on the side and wait. And the cop's like, okay, I'll keep an eye on him and the kids. You got, you go get the car and mm -hmm. come back and get him. So her and one of the kids went and did that and Got in, got my ass home, went to bed, and fucking the next morning was she went to work early because Jane had to go to uh, go to school early. Mm -hmm. So she got up, got Jane off to school, went right to work, and mm -hmm. then I had to get the twins off to school. I had to make sure the twins got off to school because they were coming down and getting themselves ready, but it was like seven Almost thirty. And they're like they're still not getting out the door. I'm like, guys, you got two minutes. And they're like, oh, we're just finishing up now. And they just got out. I'm like, guys, Mama's not here. You don't have a safety net if you miss the bus. You need to be out before the bus gets here, not when the bus gets here. Ahead of time. Got them off. Then this morning did the same kind of, you know, we did our streams and everything yesterday. We came, we chilled out down here. We did a longer stream. After we got done, I actually went through and I did my new part for Mr. Yang. I shot that. I, I sat down and did the audio on that. And actually, I got to check that when we get done here tonight because I, I guess when I sent it to the guys and I checked the file that I sent them, that they sent back to me, it did not wake. So I got to check my file. I might have to re-re-record it. Um, mm. 
which it, it isn't bad. I mean, if I got to do it, I got to do it. It ain't that big of a deal, but I did some really good takes yesterday, and I wanted to do them. Yeah. That's always a pain in the boopter. I'm not even paying attention to that. I'm just... I'm just going with this. <laughs> Tomorrow may even be payday. Tomorrow may even be payday. Really? Yeah. Possibly. <laughs> if <they have> government <coughs> shutdown. <coughs> no. The shutdown isn't until the first. Until after the first, so it wouldn't affect it. It'd be next the next hey, month. Jukis. Okay, deal. Oh, thank you, Reagan. Fuck! What are you excreting? Sort of mucus, sort of jizz. I call it jukus. Group hug! Who wants to touch my jukus? <laughs> oh, jukus. How goes it, brother jukus? Yeah, if you have time tomorrow morning, community play. What she said. Mario Kart. Where is it pointing? There, what she said. Because Sheppy's, morning, Sheppy's, Sheppy's gonna try and come in tomorrow. <coughs> <coughs> we'll try to get some peeps in for. Oh, and um, if we ever want to go and play on YouTube, but not play on the Stoner thing, just got your Xbox account hacked. Oh fuck! That's Chilling. Sucks. Um, that sucks. Sorry, man. Much love to you. Hopefully you don't lose everything or get fucked over. Um, I told the kids, since they've got a copy of it too, and they can play over at the other house, that there's a possibility sometime I could set up a thing where we all could play against the kids. Yeah. Because I've been getting them into playing how I play. Oh, how, yeah. How I play when we play the community. Like, yeah. 200 cc because they're like it's too fast i'm like just trust me and then i give them the stars and they're like but that's way too fast. i'm like just trust me then they go and they do it they're like <laughs> now i can't play it any other way this is fucking cool i'm like yeah it's fucking cool man hmm. you think i'd steer you wrong i played this of course i know it's fucking cool I think before this one, Double Dash was the best. I see. I'll see. I've been pretty busy, but I'm down. Cool, cool. Yeah, I figured we didn't see you much this week, so I figured you must have been busy. Yeah. Week, this week was a busy fucking week, brother. We just got done talking about it. And then I don't know what's going to go on tomorrow night um, because a little bit's supposed to go out, but I haven't talked to Nikki yet to see if she wants to come over. Because if a little bit goes out, the place she's planning on going over in Northampton usually goes till like four in the morning. And if she stays out till four in the morning, she'll want to stay at her friend Gav's house. And Gav's right over there next to where the club is, like mm -hmm. five minutes away. So they could walk there, no problem. Like it's a five minute walk to the place. So so they could walk there, no problem. You know, it's yeah. downtown Northampton, it's all safe, it's all good in that area. So I'm like, it's up to you if you want to stay over there. I said, but let me know ahead of time because I can try to plan things with Nikki because if I can work it out, Saturday is actually her birthday. Mm -hmm. So she probably wouldn't mind coming over Friday night, spending the night, maybe going on the live with us tomorrow night, depending on if she's feeling up to it. Then we could all wish her a happy birthday if it does work out. And then on Saturday, she can here and then she'll uh, we'll get her back to her apartment and then lauren will get back we'll go and pick up the kids and go to the thing in greenfield 
to see the Sanderson sisters. You got to make sure you take pictures to send to me. Oh, you're... Especially if they dress up. I'm thinking you're probably going to want to come up for Halloween this year again. Really? Oh, yes. Oh. The Sanderson sisters. They are dressing as the Sanderson sisters. And not only are they dressing as the Sanderson sisters. They're going to do hag yep. tracks. Yep, they're going to walk it. They are going. They are practicing the walk. Today they picked up a book. It is not book, but they picked up a book. That looks close enough. It's size wise, yes, and it says it's a spell book, but it, it's not. I mean, it's possible with some work, I could probably turn it into book, or at least a facsimile of book. Mm -hmm. And I do have the time. I probably could work on that. You could work on that on the lives, too. Mm -hmm. I should actually. Um, Hocus Pocus Spellbook. I know what Hocus it looks like. Hocus Pocus Spellbook. What, am I, like, muted or some shit? I mean, obviously I'm not, because here I am. All right. No, we can hear you. Hocus P-O-C-U-S S-P-E. Hocus Pocus Spellbook. Oh, right. Yeah, it looks like... Fuck! $75 on, on Amazon. What, what do you so expect? What do you expect? Like, kind of thing on the spine. It kind of Come looks on. skin. Two snakes in each... One in each corner. Then the eye, and then what looks like sewing things. Okay. And then that's the back of the book. Looks pretty much like the front with the sewing and that. And then it's a almost like a four, four fingers or something like that. Just the book and then the spine. There's a possibility I can make it look something like that. It only has to look pretty close. Probably not by Saturday. No, but you have to remember, Winifred is usually the one carrying it, too. Yeah, that's that's what's going on right now. They're, they're, they're trying to figure out. There's probably going to be a little bit of a scuffle over that. Who's, who's going who's to carry it? No, who's oh, going okay. to carry the book? Have Winifred might be carrying the book, yeah. That is that is mine my, my my thing. So Jukas, you smoking with us tonight, man? And, and like, cause I'm I'm thinking of grabbing a dabbing. I feel the need, the need for weed, fuckers. Because we just spent more fucking money. Well, did they have fun though? They did. End of the day, isn't that what matters? Well, yeah, I mean, it's just, it's, you know, it's the, like, oh my god. Like, our Halloween costumes this year, and this, Abby hasn't gotten hers yet. Really? Abby told us today she might want something, so. Yeah, just rolled a joint, and I hope it works. LOL. Yeah, that's why I don't roll joints. The only joints I roll are my fucking ankles, man. Those are the joints I roll. Um, yeah, Abby ain't picked a, 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 a outfit out yet because mm -hmm. she wants to wait for a boyfriend. A uh, couple of costume, possibly. possibly. Yeah. So I said to her, I was like, "Okay, that's cool." I said, "Just let us know." And, and she's like, "Are you sure?" And I'm like, "Yeah, we we bought for the other kids. We're gonna buy for you, but." We went to Spirit again today mm -hmm. because Emily's costume it still needs work. We couldn't found it. We had the shawl, we had everything else, but we didn't have the costume. Apparently, we had everything but Violet's shawl. Jane had everything but the book that they needed, so Jane was all set. So we went to Spirit just thinking we were getting the outfit for the Mary 
you know, mm-hmm. for Emily, for Mary. And then Violet's like, I need this too. And it's like, okay. So the outfit was 50. That was another like 25 for the show. And then they're like, can we get teeth? Because Mary's got the weird teeth. The teeth were like 50. Or Winifred has. Yeah, Winifred had the teeth. Uh, Those were like 15 bucks or 20 bucks or some shit like that. Mm Mm-hmm. Because they weren't over in the kids section. They only had them in the adult section. Mm. And then they saw some other jewelry or gloves or something that they wanted extra as well. Not not that they didn't. They just wanted them extra. I'm like, yeah, guys, this is getting a little bit like. Because now we're looking at their stuff was like another 150 bucks if we bought everything. Like 150, 160 bucks. Wow. And Lauren was picking up a couple of pair of tights. To go with her outfit and for other reasons. But they were like 10 bucks each or five bucks each. They weren't that bad because they were just tights. But the kids' stuff was like they were, and then they're like, why don't they get this and that? They're like, guys, we just, mm-hmm. as much right as we, want, we really can't because we just brought them out to Buena Wisano. We had dinner. We had just spent, like, we have spent 500 bucks so far just on their co- the f- costumes for the family. Five hundred dollars, and that doesn't include Abby's. Yep, and if Abby sticks with what everybody else has been getting, it's going to be like another seventy-five to a hundred dollars just for hers. Because mm-hmm. my ones was like a total of a hundred dollars. The other ones were like a total of four hundred dollars. So if if Abby goes the same general direction, it could be even a little bit more than a hundred dollars. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what she's gonna want or anything. I'm. I told her, I'm like, you know, just run it by us, show it to us, and everything, so we can, you know, just have last vote of yay or nay. Sure appropriate. I mean, in a way, yeah, to an extent. But I, I trust that Abby is mm-hmm. mature enough to know. And Abby's not a big one. I mean, she doesn't mind showing off her midriff a little bit. And I've got no problem with it. You know, she's she's smart. I don't have to worry about her. She yeah. knows how to handle herself. So I'm not on her about how she dresses mm-hmm. when it comes to that stuff. <clears throat> the only thing I'm on any of them about dressing with is making sure they dress warm enough. Yeah. That's the only thing I get on them about. Make sure you got shit with you if it's going to be cold. Mm-hmm. Other than that, you know what, guys? Chill. Have your fun. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I ain't going to be on you for every fucking little thing. You want to wear short skirts. You want to wear hoochie pants. You want to wear any of that kind of stuff. That, that's up to you, man. That's up to you. Yeah. You're going to get attention with it. You know that. I know that. I'm mm-hmm. going to be there, and I'm going to stick up for you like like a father is going to, you know, like any other father would. Mm-hmm. But it, you know, I'm not going to be on them and be like, guys, you can't wear clothes like that. You know, it's not right. Because, honestly, how am I going to tell them that Yeah. when I'm out there shopping with Lauren, their mother, and helping her pick out exactly those types of clothes because I like to see her in them. Mm-hmm. How am I going to sit there and be hypocritical and tell my kids they can't wear something like that? Mm-hmm. When I literally, I have literally been in the store helping Lauren pick out the exact same kind of thing. Exactly. You know, I could do it when they're young, young. Mm-hmm. But it. I'm, I mean, they're not young, young now. They're getting to teenage years. They're getting to a point where they need to be themselves. Yeah. So if they want that, I just tell them straight up and, and 100% forward with the fact that if you wear something like that, you will get looked at. You may mm-hmm. get compliments. You may get things that are compliments when the person is saying it. You might not take it as a compliment. So be ready for it. 
I'm not going to tell you not to wear it, but be warned. People will say stuff because some mm -hmm. people don't have filters. No. Yeah. See a girl wearing something and not say something. And some of it might be seeming positive. Some of it's definitely going to be negative because there's going to be some people who are going to look and say, oh, you let your children wear stuff like that or something along them lines. And I'm going to be like, no, I, I give them the opportunity to make their own Mm -hmm. decisions and if they choose that there is a mistake it's up to them yeah because also I wear pretty much what the fuck I want mm -hmm. I have gone out of this house and gone shopping with her in one of her dresses in nylons just mm -hmm. for the fuck of it It was like one of them things we were like we were hanging around or some shit and we were mm -hmm. talking her and I and she dared me. She's like, you wouldn't do that. I'm like, fuck you, I wouldn't. She's like, no, you wouldn't. I'm like, fuck you, I wouldn't. And she's like, I don't believe you. And I said, let's go stop. Let's go shopping. Right the fuck now. She goes, okay. <laughs> she goes and she picks one out and she hands it to me. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> I put it on and she's just like, won't fucking go out and I'm like Let's how, go. Much, how much you gonna pay me if I do it? <laughs> oh no, you don't even get At that point, it's not about money. It's not about any of that. <coughs> you told me I wouldn't do it. Right? Mm -hmm. you, you, like, she's like, I don't think you're secure enough in your sexuality to do it. <laughs> you have no clue. <laughs> She just looked at me and I'm like, you funny. So I pulled on the dress. I pulled on a pair of pantyhose and we went shopping. <laughs> and I pulled on a pair of her high heel boots. She's like, fuck, okay. Full beard. I was bearded. I was fucking bearded. I had long hair. It was back when I had the long hair. Back. This was back before I started streaming. Before I even started making videos. Because mm -hmm. I started doing videos around, geez, what was it, January? Some shit like that, January. I started doing the very, 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 very first videos back over on Oz Pinions on Comics and Superheroes. Mm -hmm. Or the currently branded Oz Pinions on Comics and Superheroes. We might go through another rebranding phase. Yeah. I'm thinking of keeping, just using the transcendent name mm -hmm. and, and and branding everything transcendent and 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 designing a new logo um or seeing if i can work with a graphic artist to get a logo designed in oh, fact a voltorb a voltorb yeah a voltorb i could use a voltorb um possibly if i can get in touch with popeye if he's still doing I've got time to do graphic art stuff. Maybe I can see if he can design me a logo. For Transcendent Studios. And then something that I can um that I can modify per transcendent. Yeah. Off of there. I will be um, back in a few. Ruh -ruh! I think Curdy's got a rut -ruh raggy situation yeah okay um <clears throat> so where were we yes so uh there is a possibility there will be a saturday morning live um because depending on what works out with nikki and everything uh with the time frame starting tomorrow night and possibly even tomorrow afternoon i don't know uh there probably when she would get out of school tomorrow 
there's a possibility it could work out. I don't know yet, but that would be Saturday would be her birthday and she might not want to do a live on Saturday morning. But if I don't end up making plans with her, even if Lauren doesn't go and stay over at her friend's house when she goes out the night before, if she only comes home at like, oh, but it's about a hot um if if she doesn't if she does even if she does come home um and even at, or if she even stays out either way she has in the morning before we go to get the kids to bring them to the sanderson sisters thing she has a, an esthetician appointment so i was going to plan to do a live during that time anyways <laughs> Just to, you know, hop on, hang out on a weekend and and possibly fuck around with a few other things, trying to fix a few tech issues and shit like that that we've been having and, and fuck around with a few other things. I, I find the weekend is, is a good time to um, to be more fluid. And when I go on and when I go off, like I try to... For the day streams, I try to go on here at 9 a.m. or as close to 9 a.m. as possible, sometimes earlier. If I can do it earlier, I have no problem, but as close to 9 a.m. I don't like to go later than 9 if at all possible. Then on the weekend or on the weeknights, it's like 8 p.m. I try 8 p.m. clockwork to be on by. If I go on earlier, great. But 8 p.m. by clockwork, I like the channels to be live. It just, you know, I, I maybe it's because of how I grew up. Because I grew up watching scheduled TV. I, I grew up watching, you know, I, I didn't stream. You know, I couldn't just put on six episodes of Ahsoka if I wanted to before I watched the seventh one, just to really like catch up to make sure where I am. I couldn't do that back in the day. It was, you waited for the show to come on either each day um, during the weekdays and then not on the weekends. Occasionally you had some special times. So kind of like the channels here. Occasionally you had some special times where, where your, your favorite shows came on over the weekend too. And they would be like, special episodes and shit so i mean it is kind of like what we do here but it was it was a certain time the show came on at that time and you watched it right the fuck then and i like i, I like the ability to jump on whenever i want i do but I like to have a time that is like my my limit. I don't like going past this time. I want to start by this time. I want to give you guys a schedule. You know, I want you guys to be able to know that I'm I'm going to be starting by this time. I don't know when I'm going to end. You know, some nights it's going to be long. Some nights it's going to be right at nine. Some daytimes it's going to be longer. Sometimes it's only going to be an hour or two. I'm shooting for two to three hours, but sometimes it might be only two. And sometimes if, if family crises or something comes up, I have to be prepared to just walk away from the stream if need be. And that's one thing that kind of works out well with having Curdy and 420 in here is they can catch my back. It's a really great way to grow a team um, I really enjoy having their help here every day and having all of our viewers coming in and watching us. That's, I love being able to come on here and share the stories of what we do as a family. Like today was, um, we went to Northampton because there's a special, uh, it's, kind of an art display part art display part um i mean history lesson slash you know book thing it, it, it's really it's a multimedia experience i guess would be the best way to put it um and it's about people on the lgbtq spectrum and their families and showing how we're just like every other quote unquote normal family 
that especially like the trans families and stuff like that we're, we're all you know families with a, a trans person and then we're, we're all pretty much we're all the same we're all the same you know we all have our 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 things that we go through on a regular basis our ups our downs you know we do uh, as as a marginalized community we do get some more hate directed toward us and some more you know attention thrown at us than other communities uh or, or other you know just people in general but the other thing is at least with me being here being on the stream regularly coming in and sharing information like this it's something I've opened myself up to and I, I have to understand is going to come at me sometimes. It happens. But the good thing is sharing everything that we share, you know, exposing you guys to this and letting you know that we are, we're just like every other family out there. It also helps bring the stigmas down. About trans people, about the LGBTQ community in general, about polyamory, you know, about so many things, about the kink BDSM lifestyle. I mean, I I like to be able to give you guys information as well as entertainment. I want you guys to laugh, but I also want you guys to think. And it's been a lot of fun all this time. <laughs> I, I will definitely. <gasps> oh, right. You're charging. Let's see how you charge. Can you give me one shot here, man? Just, just one. One is just all I need. See, I don't even need to be a blinker. Just had to be a, a, a hitty, 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 hitty. So, mm. Saturday might be a fun live. But, then Sunday becomes the first. So if at all the little bit decides to go and do something else after we've done, because we, we've, what we've got planned this weekend is <coughs> uh, Friday night she's going to go out, like I said, one way or the other. She's going to go at least out to the club. Um, Saturday she's got that, and then Saturday during the day we're going to do something with the kids, that Sanderson sister thing, but – a little bit before that, if we have time, we're going to do some, or after that, when we get back home, if we're not completely asked out, we're going to come back and do some work around the house. Like, possibly, I don't know for sure, but possibly starting work on our new pantry. Because we want to do, we've got some home projects that we want to do over the weekend. One thing we definitely want to try to work on, if the weather's good enough, is setting up the bagster and cleaning out in front of our garage, uh, which is currently a mess. We had a bagster before, and we got it cleaned out, and then we let it get messy again. Every time we do a home improvement project, you know, we work on a room or something, we, we end up making a mess and, but it took us, I mean, this is two bagsters in three years. And honestly, I mean, they came and picked up the bagster last time. And I'm like, I didn't know nothing about it. Cause for all I knew, she had called and said, yeah, go and pick up the bagster. And they came and they're like, we're ready to take it. I'm like, okay, take it. And they're like, we can get it from where it is. I'm like, okay, cool. Take it, dude. I'm like have a blast. They're like, we can't take any of the stuff around it. I'm like, fine. She must've just figured we were at capacity. So yeah, take it, dude. I'm like, you're at the right address. And they're like, yep, yep. I'm like, all right. Holler away. Our next door neighbor had a bagster. They had called to get hauled away. It wasn't us. Oops. I didn't fucking know. The guy said he had the right address, man. I ain't culpable. Your dude didn't check his shit proper. 
Ain't my fucking fault. We got a free bagster away. So we're like, okay, we can do that shit again. We'll, we'll do another bagster and then we'll pay to get it hauled away. Because we got a good amount of shit out there. And we got some other stuff we got to do anyway. So, yeah, we could get a regular dumpster. But here's the thing we've learned. You know, we have been doing the work, a lot of the work ourselves around the house. When we have money, we do a project. <clears throat> or when, when we have available time, we do a project. And we've gotten rooms built. We've gotten an entire home theater done and shit like that. You know, our den is a great area that people like look forward to coming over and hanging out in. All right. Peace. Talk to you later, brother. Don't worry about it. If you got in the time tomorrow. <laughs> All right. I, I, will, I, will, I will do another round. Even a blanker. <sighs> I mean, talk about a discount. You even got a blinker for that, man. <laughs> Cheers to you too, brother. You take it easy. And if you got the time tomorrow, stop in, we'll play. And if not, stop in tomorrow night. Maybe, depending on what's going on, maybe we'll play then. You know, who knows? Then there's the weekend. You know when I'm here. You're on the Discord, you'll know. Just go to one of our socials. All those in the know know that I'm on the socials. I drop my links. I'm like, hey guys. Gonna go live now. Bye. That way, in case any newbies pop into the socials too, they can be like, oh, 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 I don't know his schedule, but there he is. He's live now. Okay, let's go. <coughs> I do this. I done this. <laughs> that is how I roll. I'm trying to uh, engage our social media a little bit more now um, and, and be more active with like memes and shit i've got a lot of memes but honestly most of the memes i've got are not as appropriate for the channel i could get away with some of them but some of them are very 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 brand specific let's say brand specific I mean, yes, we are already an adults only channel you know an eighteen plus a a a well, we smoke weed here. If you guys have not been paying attention, we tend to smoke a little bit of weed here. At least most of us do. Curdy does occasionally. I do indefinitely. And 420 do indubitably. So it's all around here. And then a lot of our a lot of our viewers do as well. So, weed is kind of a consistent thing here. I have no idea what that says. So, I don't want it. A wild stuffle. With stuffle. Ooh, did, did you stuffle it? Don't stuffle me. <sighs> yeah. So, anyways, we've got our schedule. We go we live we play we do we have fun we chill we chat we hang out we plan for the future because the new month is almost upon us and if we do go live sunday we need to be prepared so the other thing we might do starting tomorrow is start planning for the upcoming month. Because it is almost here. And it is horror movie month. So regardless of what is going on. 
with the channel itself. Boop. <laughs> uh, regardless of what we've got going on on this part of the channel, like if we're actually playing a video game, um, the video game will be up on the TV. Okay. So the daytime streams will always be up on the TV with the game. And then this screen where you guys are right now, because your camera is right there. So where you guys are right now, that screen will be the screen for the stream like it is right now. But right now behind you is the laptop. And you're currently connected to the laptop. <coughs> so what the plan is, is I will set the laptop up to be the, instead of having the duplicated screens, I'll extend the screen and I'll put the stream, I'll put the stream up here where we can see it and everything. I'll make this monitor one and change that to monitor two. I'll put the stream up here, keep everything so everything looks good. Burp. Then over there with muted audio on the laptop, I will put the movie that I'm going to watch so I can watch it kind of in the periphery when I'm playing. I can be playing and watching and then have the chat. And then in the nighttime stream, so like this kind of stream, I'll have the TV up with the movie on it as a watch party and then us in the stream chilling. October is a much more, and it starts next week, and next week is Little Bit Software Summit, which comes, I think, twice a year. So it's going to be late nights and and going out some nights after work that's, that she's got with the thing. So, And a lot of the nights I can't go. Because it's going to be at work and then right after work or during work. So it's not something I can go to. So we'll be here doing our lives. And since it's the first week of that month anyways, we'll be doing our longer live sessions because we'll be doing watch parties. And I know... Last year, I think it was, we changed over from the 8 p.m. time to 4 p.m. as things were getting darker, and it looked like people were not in as much. But that's not going to happen this year. We're going to keep the 8 p.m. schedule. We're going to stick to that year-round. I like staying on that schedule. 8 p.m. start time, 9 p.m. start time in the morning, or 9 a.m. start time in the morning. Durr, durr, durr. That really works out for me, and um, the audience will come. That's you guys. And if you do, well, please don't let me know in the chat. Um, keep that to yourself, please. <laughs> that's, that's, that's all up to you. But for right now, it's about that time for me. So I am going to find us someone... Don't you want somebody to raid? Don't you need somebody to raid? Wouldn't you love somebody to raid? I'd better find us somebody to raid. Um, 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 um. Okay, it looks like one love. It is one love. It is one love. It is. Although chilled can't. Oh wow, that's wow. That's a lot of fucking people. I mean, what the fuck? Why not? Right? What the fuck? Why not? We're gonna get lost in the raid. We're unable to raid. Okay, raid. Oop. Let's go back to yeah, there we are. Um, 
Biggity bang a boom. Boom de bang a bang. Biggie dung. Is him there? There. All right, there we go. All right. We will be. Tomorrow, tomorrow morning. I, that's, I hope you guys had a great one. Ozzy and Co. out. Bye, guys. Bye.